Hello traders, um, this video is mainly for the subscriber who have subscribed for the volume break indicator. When you apply it in, onto the chart, then you will see this kind of variable where there is a table and there is a nearest support and resistance zone. When you go to input variables, okay, so one is number of bars to check back means it, check, it checks for nearest uh, support and resistance uh, 10 bar back and 10 bar, 10 bar forward. And then there is a percentage risk. This is mostly to include the volatility uh, factor because uh, somebody trades in one hour chart, somebody trades in five minute chart, somebody trades even in one minute chart. So one can decide which like what sort of percentage risk that they want to take max. So this is like threshold or you can say maximum risk that you want to take in a trade. Then there is a trading type means there are traders who take positional trading then there are traders who go for intraday. So if you select intraday the signal system rate resets for intraday trading and there, there is a brokerage value. So if you want to kind of trail your stop loss according to your brokerage value, you have that option as well. You can decide what kind of line, stop loss line, this is trailing stop loss line. And you can keep all of these by default. Okay, so let's first go to Nifty and Bank Nifty, which are Indian stock market index. I'm going to Bank Nifty and first I am going to one minute chart. Okay, so here by default setting is 10 and 1%. I can reduce like, so the value is around 41,000. So 1% of is around uh, 410 points, which is huge risk. Okay, I can reduce it to like 200 points or 100 points. So if I want to reduce it to 200 points, I will keep it 0.5. All the signals that are there must have risk or stop loss value, which is lower or equal to your percentage risk. Okay. So you are seeing here this big signal, but if I reduce it to 0.5%, then you can see this should skip or this should change. Okay, so the risk was 4,900. Okay, so it is not that much. Okay, this is just 100 to 200 points. Okay, if you go to five minute charts, you will find some. Let me increase my to 1%, increase my risk to 1%. And you can see the trade changes from percentage as you increase the percentage. So when you are taking positional trade, my recommendation is to increase your risk okay when you are taking intraday trade then you can reduce your risk so in five minute chart you can see the signal was generated here then stop loss trailed and still it is trailing in positional trade if i change it to intraday trade you can see things will change by signal was generated here at the almost at the end of the closing hours. Okay. And then <clears throat> again, it came at the same time here. Same went for here. So it is kind of resetting for the next day. Okay. And as soon as your 1% or you can say your risk percentage, as soon as 1x of this risk achieved, your trailing stop loss shift to your cost. So if you are taking trade in let's say future, future of the bank nifty, then you will not make any loss excluding brokerage charges. But if you include your brokerage, let's say I'm including your brokerage as a 0.05%. Then it will shift accordingly. So that you have to kind of 
change if you want or you can keep it zero by default my suggestion is to keep it zero so I, I, as soon as i am changing 0 0.05 so when there is a 2x change then your stop loss killing the stop loss changes accordingly i am changing the point five to and let's say what happens see the changes happen so if you are taking trade in future taking positional trade my recommendation is five minute chart for nifty and bank nifty for intraday you can go for one minute chart or three minute chart now the point comes for the entry okay supposedly signal was generated here okay for positional trade right so you can see here you got entry at the exact exact of the buying zone just upper limit of the buying zone on the other hand for here you can see signal was generated here but there is a green, green signal coming over you could have entered here you can enter here the one thing that you need to make sure that you are taking rank right entry is that you don't need to take entry if the price has already moved that you have to make sure of that okay let me give an example for example you can see here trade was generated here then uh, price went up and then it retraced but it did not retrace to the entry value okay so either you can skip this trade or when there is a trailing stop loss closer to your closer to your value for example i could have bought here i could have bought here because already this is bullish trend is continuing and let's then go to nifty chart how it is performing so here you didn't get the trade the signal came so it so in such scenario rather than going for a uh, future or you can say cash buying my recommendation is to go with the future uh, sorry option hedging for example this is bullish signal okay so you can take bullish hedging for example trade came here which is around 17380 so you can simply chart 17400 e and buy and say buy 17000 e so why i am saying that the reason behind is that even though you are not taking much of risk if you are entering in this way you can make profit even if the price went sideways that is the main purpose of under, like trading this so the in this way you are reducing your risk because in hedging you can kind of sleep over night if you are having kind of hedging hedged position and you can simply so this is this situation mainly calls for hedging but situations like this sell signal was generated here and then next day the price was still in your sell zone so you can kind of sell at this level so you can see clearly see that if you have sold here you could have simply made good profit at the exit point from 1745 17045 to 6985 okay so almost 60 point in nifty which is good deal like how to like see price action as soon as market opens okay so let's give you an example of today's like today's 5th of april and this was my position or this was my sentiment as per your indicator that the price closed above support and resistance zone so overall market is bullish now 
let's start it went gap up so what happens that you need to kind of don't enter because it has kind of gap up opening you just have to wait for it when there is a retracement trailing is to a plus increment okay so here at this point at this point you can take entry at this point you can take entry and let's see where it goes you took entry here you took entry here you can simply book here as soon as your red candle came or you can trail your stop loss to this this level you can clearly see that support is on again price is moving up so this way at least when you are entering here now your stop loss here you are coming into profit zone no matter where market goes when you are looking into market sentiment go for higher time frame that e, that you are going to trade when you are trading in a short time frame make sure that you are having you are not trading in option naked options because thing is that when the price goes sideways then you are screwed let's say i want to trade in nifty 1 minute chart okay so yes good signal came okay signal came so you can say clearly today there were three buy calls buy calls came here you missed that's okay buy call came here you kind of exited at the cost next buy call came here and then you went for more than 50 point at the market closing you got around 62 points which is good deal in nifty you understood the sentiment in 5 minute chart you then you understood the trend in lower time frame now let's come to commodity first crude oil okay so this is crude oil never trade crude oil in like 1 minute chart that's my suggestion just go for 5 minute for trading and 15 minute for sentiment so 5 minute for trading for this i have to increase appetite of risk and i will go for positional sentiment okay uh, in crude oil you can use 15 minute time frame or you can use 5 minute time frame but make sure you are using risk as per your appetite i have a 5% which is very high i will keep it to max 2% like 100 points 200 points which is still high you can reduce it to 1.5% so you won't get trade signal or alerts which are not suitable for you or which have high risk you can clearly see there was breakout then price came down this was possibly your entry point here this was your possible entry point because you saw rejection from the support zone or you can say stop loss point but otherwise this was very big trade you can if i reduce it to 1% this trade won't take place so that's how you decide your risk and the signal 1.5% here you can clearly see that there was a breakdown then retracement took place and i in the selling zone you are seeing type of candle where reversal might take place means bullish then reversal so this candle or this candle was possibly your entry point let's go to natural gas in natural gas you can clearly see that i am getting signal good signal no doubt but there are certain moves suddenly happens for example here sudden move and then went upside and then it came to your trading zone so this was like a signal where you don't need to enter because entry it has come to entry zone after like half an hour or you can say one hour so that's not good signal and here in natural gas generally price action happened to 2 to 3 percent so you need to increase your risk for my take is 3 percent 
based on which I give signals and so you can see that here signal was generated then it came into buying zone and then there were candles which were rejection for rejection from buy zone so here you could have entered or you could have entered at this candle and then price went up and where to exit okay so if you have entered at this level you got your trail trailing stop loss shift to your cost so now risk is zero but still if you want to exit or book profit at this point that is okay three you are getting around two two to three percent here and if you wanted to exit here you can exit here because these are the reversal signal from the buying zone now let's come to silver point in silver i am using same time like same five minute chart for intraday trading but for investment or positional trade i recommend one hour chart for silver and gold let's add gold here as well so here i am using again 3% you can reduce it to 1% or because 1% is 600 point which is pretty good uh, for gold and for silver it is around uh, 700 which is also pretty good so you can use 1% and you can clearly see that in one hour chart for investment purpose you can take you could have taken into at 55000 level and now it is around uh, 60000 from 55,000 to 60,000 is pretty high, it's around 61,000 it has gone up. So that's okay. And now if you have like move up to trailing stop loss, then even if you exit here, you will get around 6,000 point. So let's come to five minute chart. Here you saw that there was a breakdown and then price section came up. You could have entered here or you could have entered here. Then trailing stop loss hit could have exited here no doubt because there was a reversal signal and then the price went down and there was a rejection from the buying zone so you could have buy, bought here and when there is a breakdown of this you will lose very small small loss and same goes for this one and if you want to like trade in a higher time frame you can go for 10 minute max i think 10 minute is pretty good so you can clearly see that in 10 minute time frame it is still it has come twice thrice in selling zone so it is up to you at what time frame you use but make sure that uh, if you are taking trading in future please sell in selling zone and buy in buying zone but if you want to go for option hedging you can enter at as soon as signal comes for example as soon as in uh, entry came here you could just simply sell at the money put option and far otm of put option buy so when price went up or price went this side so still you will make profit even if you exit at the cost that's that's a deal for option hedging and uh, feature or cash buy coming into crypto we all know that crypto mo moves in like volatility in crypto is pretty high so for that you need to decide risk accordingly or time frame accordingly because it uh, uh, price action happens throughout like throughout the day 24 uh, 7 so you can go for one hour time frame and then you can decide risk three to five percent because three to five percent is pretty much common so here you can clearly see in one hour time frame good entry gave and then moved up and exited here and then uh, sell signal came and you could uh, trade here and made losses that's okay sometimes you make big profit sometimes you lose sell signal came here then it was it retraced it retraced back to your entry zone and then price came down it gave one on one at least if it went uh, like downside and then it reversed can use four hour time frame two hour time frame as you increase your time like time frame you need to increase your risk as well you can increase your risk you need to increase your number of bars to check so you can clearly see good signal points coming here as in, you increase the number as number of bars to check or number of one thing that i want to kind of uh, recommend is that always trade in multiple 
whether you are trading in options, whether you are trading in future, go with hedging because hedging gives you an additional edge in terms of capital saving as well as capital building. So that's my recommendation. Rest is up to you about how you decide. For stocks, you need to go for 5 minute or 10 minute. For positional trade, I would recommend 10 minute. For intraday, I would recommend 5 minute time frame. Again, if you're not getting entry, for example, here in this trade, be patient. And if move happens like this, where there is a big move, be patient, it will come to your selling zone or buying zone by the when there is a reversal for example it came down and there is a bullish signal or bullish candle you can take entry here at the closing of this entry so that you are reducing your risk and you are further confirming with indicator you entered here price moved up either you can book profit from the reason where reversal took place or you can trail your stop loss to your cost. If you are trailing your stop loss to cost, what happens that uh, you are freeing yourself from taking any further risk or taking risk in particular trade. So I hope you understood. So for intraday trade, there is a recommendation. Let me highlight the time frame that you, need, that you can use and the settings that you, you can use. These are my recommendations for intraday and uh, Positional trade for bank nifty and nifty one minute chart for intraday 10 and 0.6 percent risk for natural gas five minute chart 10 candle to look back and three percent risk crude five minute chart 10 candle one percent risk and same goes for silver positional trade for bank nifty five minute 10 or you can use 15 and one percent risk nifty 5 10 1 Silver 15 minute time frame, 10 to 15 candles you can check and 1% risk because 1% is pretty much high for silver as well. Natural gas you can use 10 to 15 minute chart. Again 10 to 15 candle you can look back and 3 to 5% risk. Crude oil 10 to 15 minute chart. Again 10 to 15 candles to look back and 2 to 3% risk because 100 point is kind of movable. And for crypto, you can use as per the volatility of the particular crypto because it's, it, it's, it, it varies from crypto to crypto. So you need to be careful. That's all. Thank you if for any query. Please uh, feel free to post in the group. I will reply back as soon as possible. Thank you.